Hello my fellow Christian fiction lovers, welcome to part two of the organizing my bookshelves video. Um, quick catch up from part one, I have these bookshelves that my parents no longer want so they're in my room now and I'm putting all my books on them and yeah we've got the books on them and now we're going to do decoration. Uh, reminder if you or if you didn't watch part one a Pinterest board literally exploded in my room. I have so many decorations like right here. You just can't see them. But yeah, and I just have some random stuff that like needs to get sorted on these shelves, but I feel like the decorations are going to tie it all together and I always feel like decorations tie bookshelves together and I just I like making things look all cute and Pinteresty even though I'm not a Pinterest girl, which is weird. That's what we're going to be doing. Um and I'm determined we're going to do it today. So, Let's just, let's get decorating. <laughs> okay, so the first like minor decoration thing I did on all of these shelves is I I love seeing on people's bookshelves when they like have the books turned out to show the covers and I have some gorgeous covers. I also have just some favorite books that I want to display, but I thought I could kind of do uh, not the full four out, like I'm fine with that, but just for my bookshelves like kind of an angle and I really like the look it's giving like I'll just step aside ah I'm stepping on books but I'll just step aside and you can kind of see that on the others I want to do one on this shelf maybe one or two okay so the first thing that I have is where did it go here the first thing I want to incorporate is this box that I found in a thrift store and I, right now inside of it I have clothespins for like a Polaroid thing and eventually I'm gonna do that I just that's a whole other art project that I have to do but this is like what it looks like it's kind of old and beat up and like one of the fake drawer things fell off but it's still super cute and I love it so I'm thinking I kind of want to like put it up with the Jane Austen books maybe maybe like put some books on top of it I have a brilliant idea please hold Okay, well the brilliant idea didn't work, so now I have to figure out <laughs> what I'm gonna do with this situation. Maybe the box just doesn't go on that shelf. Okay, so we're back to square one. Yay. <laughs> I think I might just have to go as simple as like putting a picture frame on this one. I don't know. I'm kind of sad because it worked on my last bookshelf, but whatever. Okay, so I put this carousel that my grandmother gave me. She collected, co yeah, collected carousels. And I just have this here. So it looks kind of pretty. It's blocking the anthology, but that's okay. And then I kind of did the books to a slant. So I like that. I'm not going to spend forever talking about every decoration, though. So next, I have Russian dolls. I'm just going to show them to you really quickly because I really like them. I have this blue one that I got in um, 2019 then I got this pink one in 2020 and this one I got in yeah 2021 uh, and I got them all from the same vendor and I just really like them so I want to put those on my shelves next I'm gonna find the right shelves hey Russian dolls are place and I did switch up this World War II shelf just a little bit um, why is my voice like extra high pitched today? I don't know. Like normally I talk down here, but for some reason I'm up here today. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so I separated it. This is all the Christian fiction and then I put a like clear gap between the non-Christian fiction. Those are the words I'm looking for. And then I do have uh, the Diary of Anne Frank and the Hiding Place back here. And then I just put the blue dolls here like going down and then the purple ones up here. And I think that looks nice. And the pink ones, I'm, where did I put them? Oh, they're right here. I think I'm just going to put these somewhere else in my room because I have a lot of other pink toned decorations and I don't want there to be too much pink stuff on the bookshelves. So these will go somewhere else. Not sure where, just not on the bookshelves. Okay, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I have these adorable bookends. Uh, they're little kitty cats. I love cats. I love, love, love cats. These were, oh, there's still a price tag on them. These were $4 from a thrift store and you guys can't see it, but can I maybe tilt the camera down? Let's see if I can do this. Okay, I kind of figured it out. I kind of tilted it down, but I have this nonfiction shelf here. These are like 
devotion books and then this beautiful Bible I won in an Instagram giveaway and these are three sermon journals that I have filled then Christian living books kind of so I think I'm maybe going to move this towards the center and bookend it with the cat ones or the cat bookends yeah that's the cat ones what am I saying okay so the sermon journals didn't fit so I am gonna just have to put them somewhere else which is fine I just was throwing them on there but I think that looks cute can you guys see it well enough yeah then I want to put something here on top of the bible but I'm not quite sure what <laughs> Okay, for now I put this, uh, put it on to, just to pull it off, but I put this, uh, like birdhouse, tin birdhouse, that's not a real one. I think it actually has a candle holder inside. Yeah, never put a candle in there though. Uh, and I got this also at a thrift store for like $1.50 and it has, we're just gonna take that out. Uh, it has like pages of books on it. And it's in German, so I can't read all of it. But anyway, I I think it's really cool. And that just matches the, like, cream tan vibes we've got going on with the bookends. So put that at kind of a tilt. When in doubt, I just tilt things. This is why I'm not an interior design major. <laughs> so we've really got this whole shelf here kind of sorted out. I just have uh, some kids' books on the shelf beneath the Christian nonfiction one and I don't really think I'm going to do much to like spice that shelf up because it is just kids books and as my book collection grows eventually I will just cycle those off of the shelf and keep them in a box for if I ever have kids and pass them down to them or meet a kid who wants them because I love those books but I'm not going to grab them and read them like anytime soon <laughs> unless I'm extremely nostalgic. Uh, okay, so that leaves these four shelves here. I keep stepping on this anthology of Shakespeare plays I have, which I forgot about and now I don't know how to incorporate it into my shelves. It's not really that pretty. I don't know what the inside cover even looks like. Well, it's just, it's just a like tan creamy one. The inside is pretty cool. Uh, with the Globe Theater. Fun fact, I've been there to the remodel of it. Uh, and then that's just the spine. I might, I might have a spot for this, but not on these shelves, on a different little bookshelf I have in my room. So we're just gonna set it aside. But I actually really like the aesthetic of it without the dust jacket on. Okay, back to the real topic of this video. I have these roses here. Oh, I gotta be in frame. I have these roses that I kind of want to put like near some of the romance, but I just realized they're too tall. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. The roses are too tall. These are wooden roses and I really don't want to cut the stems. I'm so sad now. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess they have to go somewhere else or not be used at all. I wanted to put them in front of my small romance section. Okay, I do have this lantern that I have this really cute cupcake candle in. Obviously, I'm never going to burn it. Look how cute it is. And I think I kind of just want to put it, like, right here because this is where a lot of my historical romances are. And I just, I don't know, just the pink and the lantern makes me think of romance for some reason. Because the roses didn't work. <laughs> okay, until I get some more stuff to like put on the shelf, I can just have this one book leaning here. I'm so divided about whether or not to keep or get rid of the Alaskan Quest series. Like, I enjoyed it, and I'm glad I finally read Tracy Peterson, but I don't really know if I want to hold on to them because they weren't like my most favorite books in the entire world so I'll probably just hold on to them until I don't have any more bookshelf space because that's 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 what I do unfortunately okay I love this little frame here I got it at a thrift store I thrift I thrifted a lot of things if you can't tell but anyway it's this tiny little frame and I put a Polaroid picture in it that I took when I was reading out in a field somewhere but anyway I just love the picture in the frame and I think I'm gonna put it here to tilt it you know and gotta push some of these back okay that, 
That's kind of cute. Here, I'll step over here now. Yeah, I like the like white-ish thing and the pink candle. Yes, I like that. Okay, so I, they're so small. I don't know if you can even see them, but I put a little picture frame up here also with Polaroids in it and it's like got gold edges so it looks nice against some of the Tanner books and then it's so dark. Yeah, it kind of shows up on camera, but this is actually a Christmas candle. Don't tell anyone. The dark red. I think it just looks nice against the wood and then this beautiful stack of books that I am in love with. I like most of the books in the stack, but I'm just in love with the way it looks. That's that's what I mean by that. And I think that candle's just so cute tucked in the corner. I don't know. Is that I don't I don't know anything about design. <laughs> it's so obvious. I really like the like symmetry we have on these two shelves with like the Russian dolls and then the Russian dolls. And I kind of want to achieve something similar over here, but like I don't really know how. And that's a problem. Also, I need to put something like right here. I just realized that. Yeah, that's that's cute. I don't, you I can never tell in the viewfinder, but you can kind of see I have a little um it's actually a middle part of a bookend. Uh, I love those bookends so much. I'm going to show them to you. We have the two end ones, and I should really only hold one at a time, because I will break them. But it's like books, you can kind of see that. And then we have this girl here, and then this one's my favorite. Um, it's like she's thinking about the book she's reading. And then the other one, I'm not going to show it to you because I broke it and I had to glue it back together and it doesn't look as pretty anymore and I'm very, very sad about it. I actually almost cried when I broke it, <laughs> but at least it was in pieces I could glue back together. So she's, she's in there. You can get a glimpse from far away. <laughs> okay, I really don't know what to do with this shelf. You can't see it. Let's tilt the camera down again. This shelf down here, I just don't know what to do with it. These are all my suspense books, which I did move from this shelf so that I could turn out under the magnolias. Uh, and then these are all of my, like, just non-Christian fiction, modern day, and then a lot of, or a lot, sorry, a couple of, like, memoir books uh, that I have. I just kind of, like, put my Polaroid camera in between the two sections for now. I know you're not, like, supposed to leave your Polaroid camera's out, but there's no film in it, so I'm not really afraid that anything's gonna get faded. Okay, so camera's gone. We put the little box down here because it just fits so perfectly. Okay, this is the finished product. I really, really like it. So you can step out of the way so you can admire it. Um, yeah, it looks nice. And now I'm gonna do a quick mini unhaul. Um, okay, so as I was putting all of my books on a shelf, I came across a few that I no longer want, and I did go through all of my books back before I moved, but uh, these I, I guess I just wasn't ready to let go of, so, or I didn't have them. Like this first one, Letters from Sky, I just didn't like it morally, it disagreed with, like, my morals, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. The Coulter's Apprentice, I read a lot of the books in this series when I was younger. Uh, and they were good. This is actually my sister's book, so I'm going to give it back to her. I've just been holding on to it for some reason. Uh, then A Touch of Gold. This one was a cute, like, light fantasy, and I did like it. It was a fun book, but fantasy's just not my thing. There's really no place for it on my bookshelf, and I'm not likely to ever really read it again. So I'm just going to donate it so that someone else can enjoy it. And then finally, I don't know why I've kept these books so long. I really don't like them and that is the Lowlands of Scotland trilogy. I really want to redo a video. I did a whole series review on these back when I first did booktube. Please don't look it up because it's cringy. Um, but anyway, I want to do another video on these but why I don't like them and why really they're not they're not good books for a Christian to read. I guess I'll just donate them because other people probably really like Liz Curtis Hicks writing. Uh, I know there are other people who really like her writing. <laughs> And I am still keeping, I've read quite a few books from her, I'm still keeping Grace in Thine Eyes, which is like a follow-up book to that one, or to that series, and I loved it. And then I'm also keeping, is there a specific name for this series? I, I guess there's not a specific name for this series, but 
Here Burns by Candle and Mine is the Night by Liz Curtis Higgs. It is a duology that is a historical retelling of the story of Ruth and Boaz. And I did somewhat enjoy those books. Like I think I could read them again in a couple of years and probably enjoy them more. So I'm, I am keeping those. I don't say, I'm not saying like don't ever read Liz Curtis Higgs, but I am saying don't ever read the Lowlands of Scotland series because it's just so messed up and I really didn't like them. <laughs> I'm not going to go through all of them, but I also came across quite a few books on my shelf that I realized I hadn't read and I hadn't remembered that I hadn't read them ever. So I put them in my TBR. They're not in my priority of a TBR, but yeah, so I'm smiling because I have a cool TBR video coming out in a while though because it's going to take a while to make and edit. Speaking of editing, I have a lot of editing ahead of me with this video, so I'm just going to sign off for now. <laughs> Leave any suggestions for the bookshelves in the comments. Decoration tips, highly appreciated. I am a kinesiology major, not interior design, so I struggle in that department <laughs> very much so. Uh, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video, whatever that is. Until then, bye.